everybody. I'm going to do a review of this knife here. This is the fourth knife that Gearbest has sent me to review. Of course, the first one was kind of meh. Is that Ganzo? Second one, Dangerous to the Fingers. Third one, Serge Pachenko logo knockoff. This might be the best one so far. Not a high bar to have to get over yet, but this, this one's looking pretty good. This is the G8012 Black, and it is their fixed blade. And it is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Let's just check this out real quick. Comes in a handy dandy sheath. And it's got a little cord cutter there. We'll try that out in a bit. Take a look at that. Pretty cool. Alright, so what you got, let's just go through the specs real quick. And then I'm going to do some testing on it. Cut a couple things. Might take it in the old testing area and see how it holds up. 440C steel on here should be pretty good. All right, so what we have is one, two, three, four, about four and a half inches of 440C blade. There's black coating on it. It's kind of cool. Feels good in the hand. Let's check the handle out here. No, 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 no. Let's not count that. One, two, three, four, four and a half inches. So it's about what? 10 inches overall, is that true? Let's check it out. Eight. Not 10 inches overall. Not good in your math. So, did I say how many inches on that plate? One, two, three. Oh, nine inches overall. It's math, it's difficult. It hurts my brain. All right, so, feels good in hand. It didn't come too sharp. So it's not sharp. I'm going to have to sharpen it after our first test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't chop up dinner with this thing. See how it handle on Wilderbeast out there in the jungle of East Texas. And let's see what else we got here. The, the, this thing will come off, I believe. You can torx this off. and We're going to do that later. Take this apart and see what's inside. Got the glow-in-the-dark inserts, which is really cool. Always like glow-in-the-dark. Not sure what that's going to help you with, but still, just knowing it's there is kind of cool. It gives a little bit of color and interestingness. If that's, that's not even a word. I'm not even going to pretend. All right, so it's got 440C. It's a, it's a, it feels good in hand. It's not too thick across the back, and it's not too too thin so it's not too horrible feels good I like to see how it works and like to see you know when we get into this that's going to be the most important part of this review is just seeing how it works but we will do a little weight test see what it weighs here check this out all right so you think it's 7.5 ounces that's not too horrible and 213 grams. So for a fixed blade, that's not bad. Now you can chunk this in the sheath here. See how this goes. We'll see how much it weighs there. With the sheath, 342 grams and 12.1 ounces. So that's not bad. If, if it ends up being a good little knife, that's not, not a horrible knife to take out in the woods and do your camping or hunting or whatever you're going to do. Now this was supposed to come with a striker thing here a fire starter but i didn't get one of mine i did get this really rough sharpening thing back here but i'm not sure how well that's going to work considering you got these screws poking out of it how would that work huh i'm not going to try it right now and of course you got this cord cutter here shall we cut some cord let's let's try it real quick all right we got a little bit of Orange 550 here. Let's see. This cuts. All right. Get that in there. Or it cuts. Oh, wow. That was super easy. Check that out. Just. Okay. So that's pretty cool. That works really well if you got to cut something like this, or I don't know what else you would cut, but that's super sharp in there. Don't jam your finger in there, children. Okay, let's go to the kitchen with this and check how this does on dinner. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Ganzo to 
cut this roast into some stew meat. Let's see how that works. You know, you're out in the, the woods, you got your trusty Ganzo fixed blade. Is it trusty? We're gonna find out. And you're gonna make some stew out of some wildebeest. Your Sasquatch steaks or whatever you're gonna make, so you gotta know if this thing's gonna cut into some meat, right? Alright, so here we go. Oh, wow. That's not even a problem. Look at that. This is a great blade for that. I don't know. We're still gonna take it to the testing room. But you're gonna get some good stew chunks out of this. This thing is sharp. It's not like shaving sharp out of the box, or but it comes, you know, it'll cut nicely through meat. Check that out. Not a problem. Take this out in the woods and cut you up some chupacabra. Yeah, that's for you. That's a chupacabra reference. Just for you. You. Alright, so let's cut this up a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this cuts right through the meat. It's not even a problem. And it's comfortable. This handle is super comfortable. Fits really good. It's thin enough so it's not real bulky, but it's big enough to where it fills your hand so you don't feel a lot of hot spots trying to grip onto this thing. And the blade allows it for slicing up food nicely. So there you go. Chops up the meat really, really well. All right, so we know it's gonna do that pretty good, really good. So, Let's try one more. Here we go. Chop. 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 Alright. So we'll do the rest of that in a bit. Now what we're going to do. See what it'll do with some of these baby carrots. I should throw these baby carrots in the, the stew just at this size. But that's no fun for the knives, right? Oh, they're all rolling on the floor. Baby carrots dying. So, not a problem chopping through the carrots. In case you find some wild baby carrots out on a vine somewhere, wild baby carrot vines of eastern Texas, look it up, Google it, if you will. You know, you live out there. There in the piney woods of eastern Texas where the baby carrot vines exist. So it chops through that really easily. So far pretty cool. No problems with Mr. Ganzo. Alright, let's see what it does with this nasty celery here. Oh, nobody likes celery, do they? You can't put peanut butter in stew. Right there. Boom. Not even a problem. It's a cool little knife. I mean, there's no reason not to use it. Chops through, chop, chop, chop. So you're good to go there. All right, I just wanna do a couple of cutting tests just to show you. This blade is really useful for, say, your camp kitchen chopper. All right, there you go. I'm probably not gonna use the celery because I hate celery. All right, let's go into the other areas of testing with this. Okay, so dinner went pretty good. Cut right through the old roast, made some good stew meat. This thing feels good in hand. In fact, I switched over to one of my global chef's knives and I'm, I switched back to this just because the, the leverage I could get cutting through the meat was, was better with this. I like the way this felt in my hand. Even Just maybe it's because of the handle. But because of the handle and this the way, it just felt better going through that meat. So, I don't know. It did good. Did good on the carrots and the celery. This is pretty cool. Even for even just taking it for a, like a camp kitchen knife. So let's see how much of an edge we have on this thing. I forgot to test that earlier, but we better test it before we take it into the testing area of death. There we go. That's not bad. It's not, it might shave you, it might. Let me check. Let's check. 
Yeah. Yeah. You get your good little good shave there. If you don't mind scraping some of it off, but it's still pretty sharp. Sharp enough to shave you. So that's the edge it came with. We're gonna go into the testing area here in a second and see what we can do to break it. I mean, test it. Just gonna do some hacking and some poking and you know what we do in there. Just to see how this 440 holds up and just to see how it feels overall in your hand as you're doing this kind of stuff. All right, let's head over there. All right, here we are. The testing tray. Take this bad boy out, see what we can do with it. So remember, it was pretty sharp. Cut through the coupons pretty easily. So let's see what we can do with a little bit of chopping here. Let's bring this up just a little bit. So chop here. Get some chopping in. So that's some good chopping. It's not hurting my hand or anything, so it feels pretty good. Alright, now let's do some slicing. See if we can slice this dinner tray in half here. Now we'll do some peeling of the sides. I need a more stable dinner tray. All right. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. Let's do the old stab test. You know what? This handle is not hard to hold on to. It's a little bit thin, maybe, but not bad. Whoa. All right. So there we go. All right. So, so far, holding up pretty good. Let's grab us a piece of cardboard here. See what it feels like. So, even after all that hacking and whacking, still going through the cardboard pretty easily. Not that it's going to be cutting cardboard out there. The blade itself is not falling apart or anything. So, pretty well built here. I'm whacking this pretty hard. Alright, so there you go. Let's take it back to the desk. Shall we? So, let's see how it survived, how the edge survived, all the beating and stuff on that dinner tray. This 440C, how to hold up? <laughs> Not bad at all. Check that out. All right, let's take it to the leg and see if it'll shave. Nee, 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 nee. Oh, it's a little pulley, but it's still catching some hairs. That's not bad. 440C on this Ganzo. This thing's holding up pretty nicely. I mean, really, I'm I'm really impressed with this knife. Now, let's, you want to take it apart? We can take it apart and see what's in the butt. <clears throat> Need that butt. Let's check it out. Okay, so what you're going to pay for this thing, let's just go over this real quick. At GearBest is, right now it's $23.51. And that's, that's pretty awesome for a fixed blade that's going to hold up for you. Little camping knife, little chef knife out in the jungle. What do we need here? Hold on a second. 
Okay, I think I found the right size here. It's the right size. It don't want to open though. And let me put this in the sheath before I slice my hand open for the world. All right, let me see if I can get some pliers. All right, let's see if we can get this thing open with the pliers. Um, these pliers don't work anymore. The Gerber clutch just unclutched. All right. That didn't work. Let's try something else. All right. Let's try the bionic grip. Robo grip. Let's see if that'll work. Put this on here so we don't scratch up the beautiful scratches or the, the finish on this. See if I can get this done here on camera. I cannot find it. All right, hold on. Okay, this thing finally worked. I'll tell you what. Ain't that some magical torque screw to get this thing off of here? All right, let's take this out. Check what's inside here. Well, look at that. Huh. That's pretty cool. This tang goes all the way in there. Now the end is locked in there with this little weird welded screw thingy here. But as far as the whole thing being a big chunk of metal, that's not bad. That gives you some hope and actually some reassurance this thing is not going to break on you. That is really cool. I'm glad we opened that up. Okay, let me tell you. I'm going to give this thing two humongous thumbs up. This thing is awesome. I might have to give me another one of these. Put that back in there. All right. Not bad deal. That is really cool. I think Ganzo did a good job here. Gave us a good blade. Gearbest, thank you for sending this one out. Still sharp, still, I have not taken anything to this yet. So there you go. Oh, it's got this little thing here for striking fires on it. Now, I don't have my, oh wait a minute, maybe I do, hold on. Let's see if we can start a fire, or at least start some sparks, all right? So here we go. Ooh, where's the fire extinguisher? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, oh, check that out. That throws off some sparks, holy cow. That throws off more sparks than this thing does that came with it. That's nothing. All right, so you got a cool sparker here. Oh, I'm gonna start a fire. Cool knife. This is a cool knife. 440C held up good to the beating on the, the table. Got a little cut out here. A little glow in the dark thingies here if you like that, which I do. Nice lanyard area here. Oh man, that is awesome. So gear best, good job. You can get over there and get this for 23, 51 for right now. It's gonna take a couple weeks to get your house, but if you're looking for an inexpensive knife that's gonna do the job for you, I mean, there you go. You can't, can't beat that. All right. I guess we're done on this one. So, uh-oh, what happened here? There we go. Like here, subscribe here, share this video with your friends. Get over to Facebook, some really cool stuff going on over there. I think that's it. Big thumbs up on this Gerber. I'm mean Gerber, this Ganzo. Big thumbs up on this Ganzo. And I'll probably buy another one of these. And I'll talk to y'all later.